What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. For the past seven days we have spent our time exploring Northern California, not only in the Redwoods but also the coastal side of Northern California. And today we find ourselves in this beautiful beach. It's a black sand beach here in California. Yes, this is something that I didn't even know existed. And the fact that I'm here I don't have to go all the way to Hawaii. It just shows you exactly how beautiful California really is. I know for me, sometimes I'm stuck in the normal hustle and bustle, day-to-day -day job, the same routine. But to be able to disconnect and come to a place like this, it definitely gives that little reset that I need. And uh, I am so glad that you are here with me, continuing this journey and uh, if you haven't watched the last couple of episodes, I really do encourage you to go back and watch them after this video because the scenery has changed since we left Los Angeles. So today the plan is to hang out. We're going to make some breakfast, do some fishing inland as well, hopefully catch some trout, just simply just relax, enjoy this place and have a good time. Did you catch a branch? It was crazy. If you push on some of the ground, some of the air actually escapes from here, enters in the water. So like this marshiness, we're sitting above a bed of water. So you want to see an example? Okay. So right there, if I push hard enough on that mud, you'll see bubbles on the shore. Check this out. You see that? Those bubbles all the way over there. It's the craziest thing. You see that? Mm-hmm. It's wild. Let's go, baby. Go. Little guy. You guys are feisty. So the way you want to handle these little guys, you always want to weight your hands because they do have a coat on them that you don't want to damage when you handle them. Get as quick as possible, keep the hook out, and uh, let them go. Come on, you okay. guys. Beautiful fish, dude. They really are. Beautiful. Help him recover just a bit. There we go. Off he goes, back home. So Daniel and I caught about six fish each. How many did you catch? I got two. 
They were so small that I went and got a burger. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Jaime's on a good one. But it's been nice. Even if we're not eating what we catch, it's been nice just <laughs> doing us and uh Oh, oh. oh. go up that way. <laughs> this is a mushroom, George. It's a full mushroom, yeah. Crazy. Would not eat that. Hi me el explorador el, el explorador. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go look at the beach. So we start off the morning pretty slow. Uh, just enjoyed the scenery around us. George fished pretty, pretty decent for the mo majority of the morning. Yeah. Uh, Daniel cooked up some really good breakfast. I uh, enjoyed some coffee, and and now we're here at the beach with this amazing black sand and knock out some more work and just enjoy the beautiful Northern California coastline. That's right. By the way, MK Lighters, big shout out to you guys for making this trip possible. Marlin, George. And the team, thank you guys. Yep. This trip would not be possible without you guys. I miss slipped in today. <laughs> What's up with you? Don't don't tell my secrets. <laughs> it's been nice being out here, but at the same time, it's also been tiring, huh? Yeah. <laughs> You're not sleeping on your regular bed. I'm sleeping on a wooden platform in the back of my truck. <laughs> and it's pretty cold. It got cold last night. Yeah, and it's, the wind picked up like crazy. Yeah, too. yeah. But uh, making making the best of it and having a great time. That's right. We finally made it here on the beach. Now, we've really been hoping to find some wildlife and we finally found a California bear. Let's go check it out, come on. When they're hungry, they get really mad. <laughs> this one's very smart, it uses weapons. It's a very high trained bear. That is a wrap for this spot. Where to next, baby? Uh, I think we should shoot inland a little bit. Yeah, if let's can, do that. If we can go inland and and slowly kind of make our way back down south, mm -hmm. um, I, not only are we gonna get a little bit different weather, a little bit of a change of scenery, uh, but we'll make good time if we That's leave right. right now. That's right, we still have, how many more nights? Three more nights? Just about, yeah, dude. Shh, damn, I've, I've, I know. I feel like we've only been here for a day. <laughs> Wish we could continue staying here. I know, but uh, yeah, but we all have to go back to. I have to go back to my wife, to my kid. Yes, can't wait to see them. What about you, baby? You looking to. forward, looking forward to going home. Yeah, I mean, always miss the family, miss the girlfriend, miss the buds, and then I, I mean, I got to get back to work and handle stuff for customers for easy supplies. He's got to, he's got to get back on those orders, man. <laughs> I'm falling slacking. behind. I'm slacking. <laughs> Guys, I had to pull over before leaving this place to fix my fender. Well, not only that, but check out this view. I am definitely gonna miss this. And I will be back. I'm gonna be bringing Thalia, my wife, and we're gonna enjoy this place once again in the new future. Jeez. Jeez. All right, let's rope.
go through Tahoe tomorrow, get gas Nevada side, and go down 395. Mm -hmm. So we're finally back on the road. We had to gas up. We are doing pretty good. We have 363 miles that are absolutely not accurate with these tires and all this weight that I have on this truck. But we did stop at Burger King. And this is by far the worst meal we've had since we left LA. Garbage. So after eating that Burger King, my stomach hurts, man. I knew I shouldn't have bought that. I knew it and I still did it. Cause that's the only thing we can buy because we're on the road for the next seven hours. It happens all the time. Whether I buy it back at home, I can do like Burger King, Jack in the Box, McDonald's. It always messes me up, man. Ah. And we've been eating so good at camp. Every meal has been absolutely delicious, thanks to Daniel, and I've been fine till today. But it is what it is, thank god we have a little portable toilet in the back of the canopy that I can use, but just that feeling of having a stomach ache while you're on the road, it's not a good feeling. But anyways, we're going to continue pushing forward. We do have to make one more stop at Target, I've been absolutely killing it with this series I've been just filming everything and just been trying my best to push myself as hard as I can to create and just enjoy it and capture every single moment and uh, I'm out of memory seven cards 128 gigs each no more this is probably I think it says what do we have here we have six minutes of of recording time so we're gonna go to target probably buy another four maybe four maybe five sd cards that way we can continue to document this journey we have three more nights ahead of us and i'm um, looking forward to it because we're gonna be camping next to an awesome spot that might have hopefully bigger trout than today's uh little catches but it doesn't matter whether it's big, whether they're small, it's always nice to catch a fish, but it'd be nice to do a catch and cook uh, just because I've been craving uh, trout for quite some time now. So anyways, we're gonna continue going forward. My stomach hurts. Guys, don't eat the chicken tenders from Burger King. They'll mess you up. Even better idea. Just got a two terabyte hard drive. It's gonna make everything easier. Go. morning guys we've been working our way back down from NorCal and uh, the goal is to stop at a few more spots camp for a few nights enjoy some good drinks enjoy some good meals and do some exploring but man this has been a long trip we've been on the road for the past six days um, and I think my body is starting to feel it I'm a little tired uh, I've been sleeping in the canopy, which works great, but smarty of me did not bring enough padding for that goose gear plate. So my bones, if you haven't noticed, if you haven't met me, I'm pretty skinny and my bones are pretty sore, but not complaining. We're still pushing forward. I am thankful for each and every one of you guys that has continued to support the channel to continue to watch this series and uh yeah we're gonna push forward good news as well so i haven't showered in six days no big deal i don't think i smell i've been using baby wipes but one of Jaime's friends ricky lives 
here in Reno, Carson area, and uh, he actually invited us over to take a quick rinse. But before we do that, I am in need of a coffee, so we are gonna be stopping at one of my favorite places when you visit Nevada. We're gonna stop there, get a cup of joe, and head over to Ricky's house. Dutch Bros, baby, we yes. back. Thanks, dude. Appreciate yeah, you. Of course, man. Let's yeah, get talking to you guys. Come on the channel, dude. At what do you? Pita Lopez. So this is gas stop, what, like number 30? I'm not even exaggerating. This trip has definitely kicked their ass with the gas prices and just the miles. But luckily, up here in Nevada, uh, the gas is still a little cheaper. But I know once we cross back into California, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be back up. Jaime, Yo. it's that time, baby. Yes. Oh. Woo. Hey, dude. After driving, what was it, five hours yesterday? Yeah. Camping at a random spot. Yep. Hanging out with Ricky. That was cool. And finally here. Yeah. What do you think of the spot? It's great, man. I think this is the right move. You know, we can enjoy ourselves some good food. Crack open a cold drink, which sounds really good right now. Um, but I was telling you earlier, the best part about this trip so far was we've seen two old friends of mine. And uh, I think it comes to show like it's nice to have friends in different places, right? Yep, you get to visit them, catch up, yep. see how they're doing. Yep, and now we're ready for the second leg of the adventure. Jaime also has a little treat for you guys a little later. If you guys haven't watched our Anza trip, it was Daniel, Hyman, and myself. This guy made a bootleg hot cheeto pasta. Mm -hmm. Well, this time around, we stopped at Target, and what'd you get? <laughs> Let's just save it. If you watch the first video, if you haven't watched and you're watching thus far, make sure to uh, bookmark Anza, maybe watch it <laughs> beforehand, right? I don't want to spoil the surprise. All right. Daniel, give us like uh, highs and lows of the Highs would be driving through the Sierras and I mean a lot of highs so beautiful campsites redwoods definitely love that the quiet the calm um, lows screaming at George <laughs> uh, that was the low so that was sick <laughs> that was my that was my high it's gonna be good you know that.